Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Soumya and in this video we, uh, we will be discussing about epiculture uh, that is uh, about the present status of epiculture. Before that, I would like to share one quote with you guys that will help you to uh, keep motivated and uh, uh, helping you to move towards your goal. That is first one. Uh, the first thought that I would like to share here is that throw your heart over the bar and your body will follow. So always remember this quote when you are feeling low, when you are non-motivated. So this actually gives faith in you. This is the proverb on the faith. See, uh, the meaning here is that throw your heart over the bar means throw your faith over your difficulty, throw your affirmation over every barrier, throw your visual visualization over your obstacles. Okay. In other words, we can say throw the spiritual essence of you over the bar and your material shelf with follow in the victory groove that's pointed by your faith and inspired mind. Okay. It means that you are always be aware of what you want so that you will get only what you wanted. Okay. And have a faith whatever you do and give your 100%, put your uh, 100%, uh, do it with wholeheartedly. Okay, then only it will help you to get what you want. When you give given your 100%, then you are, when you give your heart to it, then only you are able to reach your goal. That means that that creates the faith in you, that brings changes in yourself and that, that help you to naturally uh, move towards your goal. Uh, so that is the good thing uh, to have a faith. Always have a faith whatever you do. Okay. Uh, that's about that. Uh, like I try to uh, share this faith, uh, the faith quote with you because that is very, very important. And having a faith in life is very important. Okay. Now we will move on to the present status of epiculture. Before that, I will just give a one uh, keynote hint here. So uh, present status of epiculture, I'm, I have done this video now, right? So, but it may get old after two years or after five years or something like that. But they will ask about present status of epiculture in India. So this, all the notes that I'm going to teach, all the points that I'm going to teach that will be there. Okay. But when you are seeing this video, you, you have to add one line that is, that is one um, uh, thing that is, uh, what, what is the economic value? What is the Indian apiculture honey uh, market value? Okay. That value, that uh, year current present value, you have to add it and then you have to go through all these points because I'm doing it with comparison. Then that will, that one sentence effort you have to need to put okay and after you will get the whole the things okay but uh, for this year this is the I mean while you are writing an exam you can write everything okay and uh, this question may ask for a long question for five marks uh, like that so you have to be get ready with this now let's start with this and here one ton is uh, I, will, I have written the keynote here one ton is equals to thousand kilograms that is important you have to remember one ton okay is equals to thousand kilograms and this apiculture is an ideal and economic viable industry at the village level because it is going to best suited in the village level because it is a low cost okay and every village poor person can do it and you can use your own land you don't have to be purchase a new one and you can do it with the available instruments as well uh, and it even increases your uh, commercial value also and also it it is uh, the, the honey is very beneficial so that views the health benefits as well and this honey comes with no expiry date. Remember this keynote here. So whenever you purchase, when you keep your honey for a long time, uh, it doesn't uh, uh, have an expiry date. You, many things you are going to purchase, but those will be having the uh, expiry date. But honey doesn't have an expiry date. That is the good thing about this. But one barrier here, if you uh, doesn't uh, keep it well, if you doesn't keep it uh, hygiene, you should maintain a hygiene. If you doesn't do that, it will go bad. Okay, if it is get contaminated, it is unable to use. Okay, that is only how to think about this. If you purchase the honey and if you keep it for a uh, for a long period, nothing will happen. So you can uh, can have it, but it should be keep it in a clean place and it shouldn't be contaminated. If it is get contaminated, it will get spoiled. Now. And while you are purchasing the honey, uh, purchase the honey which is more darker in color. Actually, that is the one which is the strongest honey you can say. Okay. And here, uh, currently, the pure honey uh, is, uh, they are saying that, uh, as I uh, uh, looking for the information, that is Dabar honey, uh, saying that that is the 100% pure honey. And you are currently one, uh, like one kg of honey in India, it's about 380 rupees. Okay. And the most important, because the the Indian, uh, the out, out of countries, they are using the honey more here when compared to the um, 
Indians here and uh, the outer countries which are uh, uh, importing the honey are first uh, first three rank I will say uh, that is USA uh, second one is German and third one is Japan okay these uh, three are uh, countries are importing the honey more and moving on to the next point here the world production of honey oh, in overall the world production of honey is about uh, hmm, 6 lakhs tons per year and even 7 millions of bee beekeepers who are beekeepers here who have who are doing the apiculture okay those persons are called as beekeepers uh, here 7 million mm -hmm. beekeepers are totally involved in this industry but in india uh, only 5 1.5 lakhs of beekeepers are employed to maintain the uh, maintain the hives in the apr areas apr areas means nothing but the it is the farm this is uh, like a agriculture land will be there no like that so where you are doing the beekeeping so okay that uh, area is called as apris and moving on to the next point in uh, actually uh, the point i have wrote first but in 2019 i have taken first i will go to the next point uh, okay the indian ma apiculture market value was worth about indian rupees 14 uh, 14975 million in 2019 okay uh, and in uh, 2000, uh, sorry, in 2017 it is, okay, that is about Indian rupees of 14,975 million. Just imagine I am saying about million. Million is 10 to the power of 6. Million means 10 lakhs. And billion is 10 to the power of 9. Here million is... Um, a billion is more okay million is less in 2017 uh, apiculture market value is uh, 14,975 million okay but in 2019 uh, it is raised again again okay the honey value is raised to about billion that is 17.3 uh, billion okay in 2019 so india at that time india ranked eighth in the world in time in terms of honey production which place eighth place it is occupied and in if you have to say in within the india the punjab is the uh, major state in uh, beekeeping with about um, around 35000 beekeepers okay and also uh, they are estimated that in further years this uh, even might increased more than 29000 I mean, in, they are estimated this on in 2017 that by 2023, the, in, uh, it, uh, the value may increase up to 29,685 six, millions. But even it is uh, reached above than that. It is crossed above than that. Okay. Moving on to the next slide here. The, the honey consumption in India has witnessed to uh, in, in witnessed strong growth over the last few decades. Uh, the per capita consumption of honey, however, it remains uh, low in India compared to the number of developed countries. Yes, uh, when you look at the uh, numbers here, the honey consumption is more. Okay, the value is increased more, but consumption in within India is less because of uh, because they are not um, here. There is no uh, lack of awareness about the benefits of the honey in the diet. That is the reason here. So if you if we, if we educate the peoples uh, about the benefits of honey, they will start to use it. We have to uh, take this as a responsibility, and we have to uh, alert. We should we have to create the awareness among the peoples. And um, but uh, even this value is re reduced because of COVID-19 issue. But uh, after that, uh, I'm we are guessing that it is even uh, the value is going to increase more. And moving on to the next point, however, as a result of changing food habits and increasing inclination of the Indian consumers towards the health and awareness of the food, we expect the consumption of honey uh, is going to increase in the coming years. Okay, so there is, uh, we are bringing the changes in the food habit, we are making alert, we are making, uh, we are creating the awareness among the peoples. So uh, we are uh, thinking that in coming years, it is going to increase. How we can, uh, how we can say this? Because here, the honey for, uh, forms a key in ingredient in Ayurveda. As I mentioned in the first video that uh, we are using this honey from the prehistoric period itself. During the Mahabharata, during the Charaka Samhita, they, from there itself we are using. So that's why uh, the, uh, the honey is, is using in Ayurveda as well. And nowadays we are using in the pharmaceutical sectors in India. Okay, and this uh, traditional Indian medicine systems uh, such as Ayurveda he, he is mainly utilizing the honey. It is the key vehicle for the quick absorption of various drugs such as herbal extracts. That's why uh, this much uh, important uh, the, the value the honey it has. That's why we should support the uh, uh, use of honey uh, in the Ayurveda and in pharmaceutical sectors as well. Right? 
Uh, moving on to the next point, moreover, it is also thought to support the treatment of uh, several more specific alignments, especially those related to respiratory irritations and um, infections, uh, mouth sores and uh, eye cataracts, etc. Like this, in many, you know, like your digestive problems, uh, uh, if there is any gut problems and uh, if there is any constipation problems, all these things, okay, uh, in our daily, uh, to maintain the healthy uh, daily, uh, uh, daily activities, uh, this honey is very helpful. So, it cures so many diseases, okay. So, we, so, because of this reason, we are going to expect the growth of Ayurveda and pharmaceutical sector to create a positive impact on honey consumption in India. And, and uh, nowadays, honey is also uh, being more uh, increasingly used as a key ingredient, ingredient in, uh, in preparing a number of foods uh, like uh, baked products. Okay, major of the baked products are using the honey nowadays and in candies, in jams, and in preparing the breakfast cereals and beverages, and in milk products. And so we expect an increase in consumption of these food products to create a positive impact on the scales of the honey in the coming years. Okay, and in India, um, uh, in India, the apiculture market uh, value is reaches about twenty. The, about 21,000.1 billion in 2021. Okay, it is going to reach about 21.1 billion in 20, 2021. And the worldwide, even the, currently, if you see, look at the worldwide, how much honey is producing, it is uh, about 1,850,868. Tons of honey is producing, okay, per year. And China is the first one. It is the largest honey producer in the world, okay, with 457,203. Okay, 203 tons. Okay, it is tons production per year. Tons is uh, one ton is equals to how much? It is one ton is equals to 1000 kilograms. And the second place is goes to Turkey with the production of 114,113 tons yearly year per year. And then uh, the third place is goes to Argentina, uh, about 79,468 uh, tons of production of honey per year. And India is, is ranked seventh um, in the honey production in the year 221. That's about 67 point uh, 467, sorry, not point, 67,442 tons of production per year. So it is ranked seventh in the year 221. Okay, that uh, this is all the information about present status of apiculture in India. Uh, and in the next video, we will discuss about species of honeybee. I'm hoping that this video is helpful. It is helpful for your, uh, I'm thinking that this is, this is going to be helpful for your examination. And uh, if, uh, if you like this video, please do share and subscribe. Uh, thank you everyone.